is breaking news on two news. We are following three breaking stories tonight, all of them out of Cache County and completely unrelated. Two roof collapses on the left and right sides of your screen, and also tonight, a home explosion. Thanks for being with us. I'm Heidi Hatch. And I'm Jamie McGriff. It's that home explosion that we want to start with tonight. It happened in Cache Junction at a home along State Road 23. The Cache County Sheriff's Office says a passerby noticed the flames around 6 tonight. Lincoln Graves is live there right now. Lincoln, it has been a busy night for rescue crews. What can you tell us? Yeah, we are being kept a good distance away from this home where it exploded on State Route 23. There are still a lot of emergency vehicles here, and we do see crews in gaps through the trees working and sifting through the wreckage. It's hard to see any more smoke or flames, so again, hard to tell where this house is, but obviously a very active scene. Here's what we've learned. This is 6 p.m. We're told a passerby actually witnessed the explosion and called 911. The Cash County Sheriff's Office says three people were in the home. One person, a man, was blown out of the home by the explosion. That man had serious burns. Rescue crews heard the cries of a woman when they arrived, and they were able to get her out of the wreckage as well. Those two patients were both transported to local area hospitals in critical condition. Uh, the third individual has not been located. We are currently engaged in rescue operations. Uh, the slim hope that this individual is uh, still in a position where they might be survivable. Uh, but uh, we are holding on to hope nonetheless. A neighbor reported pieces from the explosion landed on his property, and he lives a couple hundred yards away. One man also said there wasn't an immediate fire, but after a moment, that fire roared to life. We don't know what caused this explosion at this point. A neighbor told us they smelled propane after the explosion, but that hasn't been determined to be a cause. The state fire marshal is here investigating. The neighbors also say those who live here ran a dog breeding business. Uh, deputies, they weren't confirming those details, but they did say there are a lot of animals involved in this. There were animals on scene. They also said one of those animals was actually pulled from the wreckage alive. And we know that multiple animal control vehicles are here as part of the response. So again, two people in critical condition still searching for a third that was believed to be in that home. Live in Cass Junction, Lincoln Graves, KUTV, 2 News. Horrific scene there tonight. Lincoln, thank you. Our thoughts with all involved.